Stop hogging the mirror. Right. And this is where you create your character by simply selecting part of the face and sculpting. Such a cute nose. What do you think, huh? Beard or no beard? We're gonna speed up time here and show you just how easy and powerful this is to create all new characters by just sculpting and making changes wherever you want in the face. No series of sliders. Hey, my turn, big guy. And of course you can play as a female. Whoever you leave the menu as is who you'll play. And this is an entirely dynamic system. It's the same system we use to create all of the game's NPCs. We even generate a baby based on the couple you make. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee, 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Room to perfection. Thanks, Kazuo. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. Good morning, Voltec calling. Voltec, remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? Mr. Howard, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to call him down. You heard Codsworth say my name. That isn't for the demo. We actually have recorded around a thousand of the most popular names for him to say. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this. Confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. We... we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Almost there. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Hold on! <sighs> this is an enormous dynamic world where you can create any kind of character you want, go where you want, and do whatever you want. Player freedom remains our absolute number one goal. This is running on a next generation version of our creation engine, features full physical based rendering, as well as dynamic volumetric lighting.
Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> you're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. No. No, that's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. What? Food? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. Even our dialogue is dynamic. It is not a mode you're locked into. You can play it in first person, you can play it in third person, you can walk away whenever you want, and shoot him in the face if you want. Hey, boy. What are you doing in here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Hey. Head over there. And yes, you can give the dog commands by simply pointing at things in the environment and activating them. It's all contextual. Grab that. Ready to get back out there? It is from here that you'll explore the most ambitious and detailed game world that we have ever made, culminating in the massive ruins of downtown Boston. Now you do spend a lot of time in our games looking at your stats, your items, and more. So we put a lot of emphasis on making this entertaining, but also making it come alive on the screen. Your various items. We do have a layered armor system now. There are holotapes you can listen to, and some of these are even game tapes. You get to make your own vault. And you are the overseer controlling everything. Uh, 
you control uh, the people in the vault. It's your job to keep them productive and happy. This is inspired by games, the other games we love, going back 30 years to little computer people. You'll see inspirations, obviously, from XCOM, SimCity, FTL, things that we really, really like. Each dweller has full stats. They all level up. There are items, you can give them new outfits, weapons, which they'll need when you send them off into the wasteland. Um, so they'll head off into the wasteland and they'll have adventures and get stuff. This is actually inspired by an odd little RPG called Progress Quest. If you've never, look, look it up, it's really cute. Uh, resources are important, having the right balance of food, water, and power. There are lots of different rooms you can build, uh, ones that give you resources, some of them train people, they train your dwellers' stats. The bar, of course, trains charisma. <laughs> Classroom does intelligence, there are children, more on that in a bit. And you do get rewarded with lunch boxes full of random loot. Accidents can happen, fires can break out, uh, rat roach attacks, uh, attacks, raiders can attack. And of course, the, the best way to get new dwellers is the old, the old fashioned way. It raises their happiness when they go in the room. And of course, as overseer, you get to name all the babies. Um, and that is Fallout Shelter, to so rebuild. And it works like this. You can scrap items in the world for materials and then use those materials to build the way you want. And one of the great things about having a fully dynamic game engine is all of this just works in real time. Rip it apart and build the way you want. Like the rest of the game, this is about making it your own experience. We want you to build and decorate and, and make yourself really um, a place you want to live in. A new home uh, for yourself and your best friend, of course. <laughs> As your settlement grows, people will arrive, including certain traders. They have some of the best items in the game. Uh, for these people, you will need to, you can plant food, water, and even uh, power generators. All right, so the generators will power things through switches that require power, lights and other items. And then you run wires that connect them all. And again, it, it just works. You can also build your own terminals that hook to this power grid, and then you can control the various things and tweak them that the power lines are connected to. This includes things like turrets. Because you do want to build defenses, uh, because your settlements can and will get attacked uh, by raiders. So it's fun to build up something yourself in the game that usually you'll find that, that we have built for you. Um, and there are many large sites in the game world where we allow you to build. And you can even run Brahmin caravans between your settlements. Uh, keep in mind, like most things we do, uh, this is an optional part of the game that you can do if you want to. It's just one part of a huge game, but it's really, really great for Fallout. We just absolutely love this feature.
And this crafting system carries over to other things in the world. So let's say you want to build this scope. And the game will tell you, you need these components. And those components are found in all of the items in the world. So you could decide to build this scope out of these, you know, say the microscope, a toy car, or these, you know, duct tape, an alarm clock, and such. So we like to fill our worlds with thousands of items that you can interact with, and now all of them have purpose. And here's what it looks like in the game. We do have over 50 base weapons and over 700 modifications for those weapons. So you could take a basic, you know, a laser pistol from Fallout, just one of the base weapons, and then modify that and turn it into something completely new. back.